members are saying, you will uh, have a response. Wonder. Mr. Speaker, let me just uh, say this, that first and foremost, the statement that has been issued by the chair of the committee dealing with NGCDF, my good friend, the Honorable Musa Sirma, is thoroughly underwhelming. Thoroughly underwhelming. Because we would have expected, Honorable Speaker, at the very least, to hear from the chair uh, that this much money has since been disbursed to the constituency uh, CDF account over and above the 10 billion shillings that we received in January. If we have to take you seriously, remember, Mr. Speaker, that these commitments have been made before, but they, are, they have been floated. It was just in December, I think on 7th December or 6th, when we were told that come the, by the end of the year of the December we shall have gotten money in our accounts. It never, it never happened. It never happened. Now, Honorable Sirma is coming here today, the 14th of February, still talking about the 10 billion that was released way back in January. Yet, they were only remaining with about four and a half months to the end of the financial year. To the end of the financial year. And the NGCDF is not just about bursaries. You know that. It's about projects which have been planned for. Projects which are earmarked to help the people down there. Mr. Yes, Speaker. Mr. Yes, Speaker, this House must put its foot down. I know that the issue of exchequer release is affecting very many other sectors, including the road sector. Right now, Mr. Speaker, I know we are anticipating the second supplementary budget. Yet, there are projects which were planned for in the main budget way back in June last year that are yet to be implemented. We rushed into the first supplementary budget, now we are going to the second one, yet projects which were planned for as way back as June last year are yet to be implemented as a result of lack of exchequer releases. So if there's a problem, we need to be told what is the problem. Because as far as they're concerned, the government continues to collect money every day, every second, every minute, from Kenyans, us included. We need to know. What is it that is not happening? What is it? So on this issue of NGCDF and GAF, Mr. Speaker, I'm afraid that this House will have to put its foot down. It's something that we want to avoid, but we can't, Mr. Speaker. If only to jolt those who are responsible to do what that they are supposed to do. Because it appears that unless they are jolted, they can't do anything. The only language that these people seem to understand, Mr. Speaker, is action, positive action. Positive action. And the positive action must begin now, Mr. Speaker. If only to send a message. I don't know. Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I have to conclude now. Yes. So we need a more categorical statement. Yes. Not those kind of things, Mr. Speaker. I'm sorry to say this. Thank you. Those, uh, those ones remain empty promises. And we can't go by premises anymore, Mr. Speaker. We, they even actually made our speaker look so bad in the eyes of the public. How dare you make our own speaker look bad in the eyes of the public by continuously lying, 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 lying. This policy, this condition of lies. It's now taking a new order time. And I use parliamentary language. Okay, I will do. I will draw the term lie. Yes. And I substitute with untruth. Untruth. I substitute the word untruth for lie or mislead. I'm guided. Thank you. May I speak? Shamelessly misleading. I'm being told. Yes. May I speak? Let me conclude. That please guide us. Help us, my speaker. If, for instance, we are to go at the pace in which we are moving, how sure are you, Honorable Sirma, that these monies, the 47 billion plus, that is outstanding, there's no guarantee. And therefore, we need to move on a prorata basis. Today is the sixth, the sixth month.
we need okay at the very least 60 percent of the total money due which is how much it's over 35 billion shillings so unless that is done Mr. speaker i'm sorry i'm sorry these members have told me they are unwilling to proceed with any other business i'm very sorry i'm just conveying the message you know i'm just a messenger thank you you have made your thank point you. thank you whoever i give three minutes osoro your time for three minutes Give Honorable Soro the Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, you know, on this issue of NGCDF disbursement, there is usually no uh, minority or majority. It is something that we all agree together collectively. <laughs> and um, while I share the sentiments that have been uh, 